so I was sitting there thinking, I want to change my room. I think it's not set up to where it could be the most efficient way because I'm running out of space and I just didn't like the way that the setup was, you know. I I thought that the area that I was working on was too small and that I needed a wider space, like a bigger area. And I wanted to where I could film from different angles for you guys. So I got to thinking of what I could do to change the room up. So what I did is I'm going to show you guys a couple of the things that I've done. I have taken, 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 is that even a word? I don't know. I digress. But taken a lot out of this room. I mean, I have, I have moved a lot out of this room. I even had to have some friends come over and help me move some of the stuff out of this room because it was just, it was too much stuff. I mean, I just, some of the things that I had in my room were you know really really heavy so this is the workbench right it may look the same but it's actually quite decluttered okay there used to be a monitor there and my tools and some other tools used to sit there and there and up there I used to have a bunch of different you know tubbleware and different containers like that one and everything and I had more tools and stuff down there and then underneath here I had storage bin and then storage bins and storage bins and then these right here were all up underneath but the thing that I have changed the most is over here and let me turn some light on for y'all alright so this is what I've done I t remember the black, what is it, it was like a black workbench, remember I had a black workbench sitting there? Well I took it out and I built this, or these tables, I built them yesterday, in a night. I had a friend help me and stuff, but we got it done. Um, I'm still going to do a little bit more work to it, it just, it, it needed to be, I mean look at the surface area, like okay forever. For instance, look, when I was working on stuff, this is the area that I was working on, okay? And you can see that it's not it's not very big. All right? Now look at my new work area. See how much more bigger it is? I mean, it's just huge. Look at this. See that? I installed a light up there. Okay. So what do you think, guys? Does it look better? Look, I got the 32-bit monster sitting over there. And then this is where the new keyboard and stuff is. Check this out. Look, I put fans underneath there. I thought that was kind of cool to do that. But this, I had this, whoa, sorry. I didn't realize I had that in my hand. I had these two pieces of wood. This is really good wood here. It's, it's good and thick and it has a nice surface to it. But I had these just sitting in the garage. And I thought to myself, I wanted to make tables out of them. So what I had to do is, here, let me get down here on the ground. I had to get these these steel bars right here. Can you all see them? These right here. I had to get those, and I had to get two of them to re-secure the two tables together. And then uh, this right here, I made. I made these. And then I put them together and then I used it to brace the top part and as you can see down there I made another one and I braced that one that I mean they're, they look identical but they're a little bit off but I mean I did a pretty good job and then of course you just have like a single leg in the back back there holding it but this is the new work area do you guys like it what do you think I mean I am I absolutely love it I think it just looks great now I mean especially since you can see the stuff on the back wall I mean you could never really see my comics and all the stuff I got 
Oh yeah, there's that there's that studio light that I put up. I wanted it to where I can work on stuff, you know what I mean? I have everything over here, all my nuts, bolts, screws, machine things, um, socket, right angle, you know, I got my head magnifier, and then plus it's hard and I'm on a wheel, so all I have to do if I want something like, I can be over here on this system and I can test stuff with it, hook a system up, hook the monitor up, I got a spare power supply, like computer cord for the power supply, comes right in through the back, plug right in through it, and then you hook your internet on, which I'm going to run the internet, oh by the way, look at this, it was starting to overheat, so I put a fan in my, um, what do you call this thing, router, yes, I put stickers on it too, but I put an RGB fan on top, so, man, I love it, that right there, that poster right, I'm sorry, poster, ha, huh. that comic right there, that was like one of my very first comics, but anyway, I'm getting off subject, I wanted to be able to work on it, and I needed the space, I've been saying that, I know, I needed the space, but I have where you can bring the computer in that you want to work on, I can set it down, hook the keyboard and mouse, monitor up, I can diagnose this, I got a nice big area to work on it on, and then if I want to, like let's say this is the computer, I can set it on this, and then use this to spin it around to work on it, to make it easier, you know, uh, all my tools, impact wrench, drills, it's, it's all here, good to go. And it, it, it makes it easier to, you know, work on stuff with. You know, I, li I like it. I think it's, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I really do. And then look at this, guys. Look, I was on the internet. Alright, check these out. Look at this stuff. Look. I was on the internet and I was looking at these, right? And what it is, is... It's for, um, it's a dual pass engine oil cooler and transmission fluid cooler. I was thinking about getting this for water cooling. Alright, you can change the threads on it. It already comes with mounts. But I want to do like a fanless cooling system for the computer and I think this would be a cool way to go about it. What do y'all think? Think that'd be a cool way of going about it? I don't know. And then I'm watching um, TV on this one. The machine's doing all right. It's it's a little dirty, you know. It needs to be taken out and dusted. One of my sensors went out on me, so I got to get in there and and jiggle the wire and stuff. And yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit of build up on the bed, on the fans. Um. Do you guys like the workshop? You think that it needs a couple of things or it could be changed a little or you know, are you jealous of what I got? I don't know. I like it. I just feel like I'm missing a couple of things and hopefully I can get them put together. You know? I don't know. But we're going to get some parts and stuff for that computer over there. I'm going to build this system, this 32-bit monster. I'm going to finish it. Once it's done, we're going to set it to the side, and then we're going to start another system. And uh, that's going to be the fanless water cool system. And we're going to see how well we can water cool a system without fans. So, yeah. So that's that's pretty much what it is right now oh check this out see underneath there there's like ample storage underneath here so I can put all kinds of stuff back up underneath here and I mean I just like I opened up this whole area now and I'm just so excited about it and yeah what do you guys think you guys like the new the new spot so this is it this is what I've been working on, these tables. I got the mod mat. 
down. The mod mat looks great. Love the mod mat. In here, and I'll show you guys what it looks like in the dark. See, I got the fans on. I got the LEDs. Wait a minute, hold on. Let me let me shut these off with my remote control, like that. All right. So that's what it looks like. Wait a minute. I'll plug that. I got the keyboard, the hoko, and my mouse. Got the RGBs on the blinking. Got the other desk, got the test bench, got the mics. Everything looking good, guys. I just gotta figure out just gotta figure out what to do with all this stuff. You know, I don't know, I don't know what to do with all this. And I'm I keep being conflicted on what to do with that. I'm probably going to tear that down and change that into something. I don't know. I could use the frame. I think when I build the the next computer, I think I'm going to build it in this in this frame because it's already squared and built. As you, what the hell? That's my girlfriend. Okay. You can already see that it's squared and it's been framed, so it's going to work. And I'm really excited about this. I think this looks great to me. So the whole idea is, you know, you're sitting here. Okay, so you have this. You have your keyboard, your mouse, and your monitor. So that way you can work on any software problems that you need to do. And then you have all of this huge amount of space here, okay? This big amount of space and you can work on the computers there and if you need you know a tool or something like that or a screw or whatever you know and then if you need like a fan or a wire or some kind of whatever I may need you know and then I have other things over here like the soldering iron and then I have the heat gun and I can test Molex and SATA connectors and you know I got the which I'm gonna get another one of these another voltmeter I have the circuit I have the you know the circuit board holder right there then I have some other tools and stuff right there and then right behind that is the IC dock that's my cloner you know I got my headphones and then a couple different things SATA plugs and all kinds of little stuff Dremel tools and little things like that but yeah T handles over here is just my helping hands and where I keep some of the other stuff at some of the other open hand tools see I like my tools to be like where all I gotta do is reach in and pull them out you know and I got two different types of mallets I have an electrical uh, line that runs out okay this is how I this is important to have it set up this way guys gotta have a free electrical line that runs up to you right there right and then you have to have internet so I have an internet cable hanging you know right there alright and then right behind the internet cable up on the wall you can see it right there that white 3.5 millimeter headphone jack hanging out right there that's to the stereo so I can test the sound alright I can power it up I can power it, I can provide internet to it you know and then I can test different things like on this end right here, here let me show you this I'll move this out of the way right here see this thing right here I have it to where I can set up Molex and SATA and power them see if it works or not all kinds of little things soldering spare mouse you know and then all I gotta do is I can wheel over here and finish what I'm doing or do what I need and then if I need to do something back over here on my computer you know I can go back over here and do what I need on this one so I got it kind of in a 360 parameter setup and I think it's a lot better than what I did have because what I did have 
was the big black y'all remember that thing it sat real high that's another thing I didn't like was how much taller the table height was of it you know I wanted a table height where I could be sitting down and rolled around and, and just you know be able to hit every angle all the way around like this see what I'm saying that's what I wanted and then I got these up here these are like my boom arms that run out so I can secure things and you know hang the camera and so that's what I've been doing man I've been working on the room I hope you guys like it I like it I just you know I think it's gonna work better for us I think it's gonna provide me a better a better way and a better channel and a better way to work on my projects and whatever a better way for me to make money you know a better way to film just a whole better way of everything plus with that unit being out in the garage um, I can use it to work on the the bike and some of my other kits and plans and projects that I have coming so yes anyway thank you so much for watching guys I hope y'all liked it this is my new room update and what I've decided to do and just some general stuff you know if you have any comments please leave them below please drop a like if you're new to my channel please subscribe and thank you so much guys we're doing great we're at 82 subscribers that is phenomenal but my views are low I mean I get less than 30 views and then sometimes I get less than 20 views but you know what as long as I'm getting you know some views then I'm, I'm doing I'm doing some kind of a job in entertaining people if y'all have anything to you know to suggest or maybe something that I could do different please tell me I am very well opened up to suggestions also Ryan you need to get a hold of me dude I've been trying to get a hold of you you're the lucky winner of that camera um, so yeah give me a call man let me know and to everybody else we'll probably do another giveaway soon but I'll let y'all know I'll let y'all know about that when we decide to do that. But yeah. Alright y'all. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.